Things are looking bad at the South Sydney Rabbitohs camp and the results are evident on the field. Today, we delve into the ongoing discussions surrounding Latrell Mitchell's dedication to rugby league, with notable figures expressing concerns about his commitment to the sport. Following an incident involving an elbow on Sean Johnson during a game between the Rabbitohs and the Warriors, Latrell Mitchell found himself at the center of controversy. This led to a three-match suspension imposed by the Match Review Committee, sparking debates about player conduct and sportsmanship. The South Sydney Rabbitohs' challenging start to the season has added pressure to the team, particularly affecting coach Jason Demetrio's position. Currently positioned at the bottom of the ladder, the Rabbitohs face scrutiny not just for on-field performance but also for the overall team dynamics and leadership. Despite Latrell Mitchell's impressive career achievements, including multiple grand final wins, representative honors, and international experience, his recent form and off-field behavior have raised eyebrows within the rugby league community. These discussions reflect the broader emphasis on player professionalism and representation of the sport. Renowned league figure Phil Gould has voiced concerns about Latrell Mitchell's passion for the game, questioning whether Mitchell truly embraces the hard work, discipline, and team spirit essential in rugby league. Gould's remarks underscore the importance of player commitment and attitude towards the sport. Examining Latrell's playing style, analysts and commentators have noted a tendency to play at his own pace and style, sometimes lacking the consistent effort and intensity required in professional rugby league. This analysis delves into the nuances of player performance and contribution to team success. Sharks legend Paul Gallen weighed in on the discussion, acknowledging the potential for Mitchell to step away from the game but emphasizing the need for senior players to support and guide younger talents like Latrell. Recent developments suggest that Jason Demetrio's tenure at Souths is hanging by a thread, with reports indicating that the board is on the verge of parting ways with the embattled coach if there isn't a turnaround against Cronulla this Saturday. Demetrio's fate seems tied to the outcome of the upcoming match against the Sharks, where a significant upset victory may offer a temporary reprieve, albeit a fragile one. However, even in the event of such a win, it appears that his position may only be secured temporarily. Looking ahead, South Sydney faces formidable opponents in the Storm and Panthers, adding further pressure to Demetrio's situation, especially with the absence of Latrell who is suspended. The Rabbitohs' recent performances have been disappointing, with a notable last-place finish in the latter after a lackluster loss to the Warriors, highlighting the team's struggles under Demetrio's leadership. Despite the board's previous patience, recent events have reportedly exhausted their tolerance, setting a decisive timeline for Demetrio's future at the club. Speculation suggests that assistant coach Ben Hornby, with ties to Wayne Bennett, could step in if Demetrio is fired. Additionally, figures like John Morris and Sam Burgess, both with ties to the club and past experiences, are also being considered as potential replacements. Burgess's departure from the coaching staff, reportedly due to clashes with Demetrio over player treatment, adds a layer of complexity to the ongoing situation. As the situation unfolds, the South Sydney Rabbitohs face critical decisions regarding their coaching staff, with ramifications for the team's performance and dynamics moving forward. As discussions continue surrounding Latrell Mitchell's future in rugby league, the broader conversation touches on player development, team dynamics, and the evolving expectations within the sport. Stay tuned for further updates on this evolving story. Should Latrell Mitchell be dropped or moved into another position? If Jason Demetrio is fired, who should replace him as the head coach? Please let me know your insight in the comments on how the South Sydney Rabbitohs should resolve their predicament. Don't forget to smash the like button and subscribe to the channel for more updates on the situation. Thank you.